In this video, we're covering RIPX by Hit and Mix. It's a software that specializes in stem separation. Full disclosure, I have been contacted by the company, although I am not sponsored by them and my opinions are my own. I'm not bought or paid for. So they have improved their software overall, implementing VSTs and other options for MIDI and stuff. Installation is still pretty much the same overall. Just to show you how kind of straightforward version 5.1.1 was, uh, here was version five. I dro uh, drag and drop the same video in to create a harmony. You'd go to your top category here, select my audio file for instance, go up, I can go down. And this is the thing that I, I kind of got frustrated with because it's not very clear just looking at this interface to move up an octave, down an octave, but to the right of that, you have an option to adjust the volume of these different chords it creates. But I wish I had another category to adjust the panning of the chords it creates, the vibrato of the chords it creates. Those are things I want to see. I don't care about this little modular, little cutesy looking thing. I want the functionality to actually be useful for me, you know? <laughs> Yes, overall, I think the algorithm has been improved. Whatever they did under the hood, it does separate things a lot smoother, and you are able to do quite a lot of the things that I loved. This is a lot more affordable. So if you're looking into creating stems, I would say this would probably be the best option for that. But this just looks so clunky to me. Like this does not look streamlined at all. Like your production section and your audio cleanup section and have all the tools that you would need for audio cleanup and nothing else and just that's just that section overall software's fantastic for what it's meant to do for separating stems the functionality needs a lot of work the interface looks very sleek the usability is not super clear for beginners but anyway hopefully you enjoyed this review and i'll talk to you soon with the next one